Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha and this video is in continuation to the last video where we saw how to make a GET request from a Citrus test case. So we had our service up and running. So you can see this is a REST API on the URL slash customers and we had a GET mapping for ID which gives me a single customer slash which gives me all the customers for POST mapping and for DELETE mapping. So this video we will cover all the other REST API calls. So we already have seen for GET and this was up and running. Now here we saw that we confirmed whether the size that we were expecting was 2. So if you notice when the REST API is running on the server, I get 2 records and that is what we validated over here. How about if I want to validate the data? So then I can say dot validate dollar which is used to access the JSON of 0 and I may say if it is equal to. So if you would see the first record is CID1 and name Shalini. So let's validate if first one is the same. So again I am expecting a JSON so we'll have the curly braces. Let me just zoom a bit more so you will be able to see what I am doing. Then we do put double quotes and we write the key name but again this is going to give an error because it's Java. So we'll have to use the escape sequences colon again the value is again said slash and I say it's Shalini again I close this comma again I'll use escape sequence CID slash quotes colon slash quotes one slash quotes and these quotes are closed. So let's validate if the first record that I'm getting is named Shalini and CID one. So let's run this test case. So I'll say run as test ng test and let's see what we get. Okay, so test run. Sorry, it's enabled false. Why is it enabled false? Sorry about that. Let's run it again. Okay, test fails. So let's see why. Expected name Shalini CID1 but was okay. So this is an integer. Let's run it again. Okay. Hmm. There's a space. Let's run. Okay, so this time it passes and you would see it validates and I am able to get the value. So message header validation successful and all values are okay. So when we write this way, we saw that it becomes tedious. Instead, we can create a .json file. So suppose I can say new other and file and I will give it a name as customer.json. Once I do that, maybe I can create a JSON object. So I can say name colon Shalini and we have the CID value which is an integer that is 1. Now once I have created this, I can write a normal Java code wherein suppose I say string data is equals to empty and class path resource resource is equals to new class path resource and we need to read the customer dot json file let's create a buffered reader new buffered reader will say new input stream reader and from the resource Let's read the input stream and I'll say data is equals to reader dot read line. I'm just writing one because I know there is just one line. If in case uh, there's lots of JSON objects, then you can definitely go ahead and write a loop. And let me say surround with try catch and I'll move this inside the final block. This again throws an exception, so let's surround it with the try catch. Done. 
So just we read from the resource and what is this? Okay, this again throws an exception. Fine, buffer reader reader is equals to null. Okay, so that's done. So we created we we are reading from this JSON. We are reading from this JSON file. We created the object. We got the data, and then here instead of writing this complex code, I can just say data. So I have the data in this variable which I am reading it from this customer dot JSON. So let's go ahead, run and validate and see if it executes successfully. Okay, so test case passes. You would see it's a success, and yes, it is validated. So yes, you can also create a JSON file and you can read data from there. This was about getting all customers. Now suppose you want to write a test case for post and delete. So I'll keep this as it is, and suppose I say get customer by ID. So I'm getting a single customer. So if you would notice here, if I go and say slash one, right? So I can get a single customer. So let's validate that. So we have everything. Everything remains the same. Just that here I'm going to pass a value that is one, because if you would see my customer resource slash customers slash, and then I'm passing in an ID for a single customer. So I pass in the ID, and here it is returning. The ID and Shalini. Okay, that's fine. That's what we have in our customer dot JSON. That is one and Shalini, and everything else remains the same. I want to get for a single customer. If I go ahead and execute this, so I'll say at test, and let me disable this one. So when I say run, and let's see if that passes. Okay. Sorry, I had to change over here. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, so I guess this will be just dollar because we are just getting one single object, right? So let's execute and see. Okay, so it passes, and yes, we got our single object. Now, if you want to test for post and delete, again the same stuff, and I'll say test. Add customer. I'll read from the JSON. This time, let me change this to three, and let me change this value to say something. Okay. Now I want to post this, so I'll say sent. This will be post and dot message type. So, so I'm sending the content. So I'll say content type, and this is application slash JSON dot payload, and we'll just send this resource. Okay. So we have this class path class path resource which reads from the customer dot JSON. And then when we receive, I just say status okay, and let's delete all this, and let's see for a post, are we getting our response and status as okay? So let's execute this. So we'll say at test, and let's disable this one. So we can just focus on one. I'll say enabled is false. We don't need all this, but I've just kept it over there. Because we can directly read from the resource, the test case passes. Let's validate. Can you see the third record? It's added. Let's test for delete. So I'll have the same code. So you can see they are so easy, and I'll just say test. Delete customer. I don't want any of these. I want to delete, so I'll say delete, and it takes the ID. Suppose I want to delete the customer number three, 
we do not need any of these and that is it we just say delete and let us see if we get a status response back. Again let me disable this one so I will say enabled is equals to false and let us run the delete one and see if we get it success. Okay, we have an error and fail to pass JSON with JSON. Mm, we have the customer resource. We have a delete mapping. Yes, we do have slash 3. That is what we pass. And it says position 7 let's see if it deleted so you can see it's deleted from the records maybe the return type that i'm getting from the delete okay it's saying deleted hence so it should actually return json so if you would see see we got the message deleted but because it's not a json object hence uh, when it's extracting from the payload that is dollar which is not a json it's it gives an error okay so that is all about it. So one of three success and yeah. So usually when we create our REST APIs, we should make sure that it returns a, a JSON object or else or else it is not extract from payload. Then I can say I am expecting a payload. It is of type string. So I can just write delete it. Now if I run again, oh sorry, it will not work. Uh, let me add it first. So this is our add. So let me save this and I will run this a bit later. So let me add first. Okay, so I will say run. Okay, and now I will run the deleted one. I will ignore this one. And I want to delete three and I say payload should be deleted. So and at the same time, if in case you want to be uh, uh, you, you want to be case insensitive, I can say dot payload and I can use at equals ignore case, which is a string function. And I can say over here at equals ignore case and I am expecting deleted. So what happens is when you do it this way in that case it becomes convenient because even if it is um, uh, if, if it is small d or capital D it does not make a difference fine. Let us see. So when you are expecting a string and not a JSON object you would write ok now what is it unknown variable response yeah so we do not have this ok but then yes it is deleted 1 3 2 3 success 3 of 3 just the echo fails because we do not have anything called as the response. So this is the way you can write delete add insert uh, post select ok. So with this we come to an end of this video happy learning take care and bye bye.